Peace and greetings, everyone. Here with another interesting invention. I wanted to elevate um, a previous PCB I designed. So if you haven't seen, uh, this is my Wi-Fi Bluetooth drone jammer PCB, which I made through the help of the lovely people at PCBWay. Um, and I also have another version for some whatever reason I did not release. Um, well, the reason was because I've been working on a firmware so you can um, toggle between the NRF or the CC110, which <clears throat> rolls over into Starbeam. Um, but for a more simpler application, if you just want to have one NRF and one CC110, you have those options. So normally you would have the radio modules connected to the ESP32 and you have to um, control it via serial terminal. But I made a um, cool little modification. So now how I like to do uh, my prototypes, I um, cut up some uh, female header pins. Obviously this isn't the cleanest, um, but do it however you need to. I used uh, these female header pins, um, but this is just a 40 stack. And then I just use uh, some cutters <clears throat> and just make a pretty careful cut. If you don't care, you can like heat up a knife or some scissors and just um, melt through it. I think that's probably the cleanest way to, to cut them. Um, but I, I work inside a lot, so I don't want the smell of burning plastic. And then I have um, these ones, which I got from um, a lot of like D1 minis, the ESP826s. Um, they usually give you these ones. Um, Cause then I have them attached uh, on the other end. So this is a cool little um, add-on board I created. <clears throat> Probably gonna get a PCB made through PCB way. Um, but the idea is that it just has three buttons and a screen. You can hook this up however you want. But if you look at the schematic for um, this, I give um, a whole bunch of extra pins. So you have the three volt ground, uh, IO2, 17, five, and then, uh, you know, there's a few other pins available here at the bottom as well. So I soldered in um, some uh, header pins. So now, uh, I don't have to sacrifice anything if the project doesn't go well. And you just pop that in. And um, with these boards, uh, the NRF and the CC110 pretty much have similar pins. Um, the only difference is that the IRQ isn't used for the NRF, but for, um, the CC110 uh, pin eight <clears throat> is GDO2 and is necessary for an input pin. So it needs to be on um, a certain pin. So over here, I just connected that uh, GDO2 to uh, just any pin. Cause you see here, um, this is the NRF24. So originally the IRQ wasn't um, selected. Um, so for future development, you if you wanna do something similar to this, um, just make sure you have the IRQ pin going somewhere, but in the code, the IRQ pin isn't gonna be used. So it doesn't really matter. Um, so you might as well just use it instead of just leaving it out like I did in the first design. So you could um, pop either in, but uh, for this, Example, we're going to use two CC110s. So normally, <clears throat> you would think that's about it. But now, uh, connecting to the certain pins that are extra, you now have this uh, fully featured device. 
Yeah, once again, um, <clears throat> I'm going to have some more documentation on this if you guys are interested. Um, because if you already have this and already using um, this device, <clears throat> then all you would have to do is add some header pins and um, attach it. So let's turn it on. Okay, so now we will turn it on. Look at that. Initialize both CC110s. So what was um, just a basic serial terminal device, ha, is now a uh, fully featured um, standalone device. And um, this code is a work in progress. It's pretty much done, but there's a lot of functions I uh, exported from the old code. Um, so now it's just way easier um, to do stuff. And um, it will combine as well into a star beam. But now you can just um, test the radios. You could test individual ones. Okay, so uh, now we got SDR++ going. Um, Checking for signals. Now we'll test uh, jammer. We'll test uh, radio one. Okay, now we'll test uh, both radios. There you have it though, um, pretty much the new deluxe 433 megahertz jammer in a nutshell. Um, I'll be giving some more uh, videos uh, on this and um, finalizing the code before I put it out. <clears throat> uh, but once again, I highly recommend for you to um, revisit the old Bluetooth Wi-Fi jammer if you do want to uh, make a cool little standalone display device <clears throat> like such. And once again, I will be going through uh, PCB way to make the upgraded versions of these that will have a display and all that and battery charging. Um, so please be on the lookout for that. Um, but let me know any comments or suggestions you might have. Um, and I will be doing a breakdown and uh, maybe some soldering videos on this too as well. Um, but as always, stay peaceful. Peace.